What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off what happened last time, um, well, we've had a few more battles against the Prussians in France. Um, they very, very kindly left Munich open with no garrison, so we've just hopped straight on in. And we've now... Oh, sorry. We've now laid siege to Dresden, which means that the only two Prussian territories which are not currently under attack by my forces are Breslau and Gdansk. I could maybe move on Gdansk, but I'd be, I'd be concerned that they would be trying to um, force us to cross this bridge, which I don't really want to do. Like if I move in, they'll force me to attack, and I've got to attack across a bridge. And I've got one unit of howitzers, Sir. some eight-inch mortars. Hmm. No, don't want to do it. I want to move up. I want to have this army take Hungary. Then move up and take Breslau. Then, then a bunch of armies threaten Gdansk once we've uh, cleared up this central pocket a bit. And I've got this uh, unit, this stack here, currently just waiting for replenishment before moving on Prague. And yeah, that's that's where we are right now. And I'm currently spending a lot of money trying to keep my troops um, reinforced. I keep remembering to assassinate. Ah, dang. You can't assassinate my guy. He's in my territory. He tried to kill someone in my territory. He should do as he pleases. He has the authority of the king. Ready for order. Mm, but yes, let's move. So I'm down here to try and set this stack as they move around. Let's move. Make ready. Well, he's blocking a direct advance on Paris. So I don't want really to move him. I want to move him over here. To fill out the gap here that this guy's left. I think. Well, Coburg, where are you? Yep, you're being destroyed. Good, good, good. Right, let's hit end turn. So the French are still still keeping on. God bless their little hearts. One of the first targets I'll probably go for once I've destroyed um, the French, destroyed uh, the Prussians, will be Corsica. So those regions will become pirate regions. Ooh, they're attacking me at Hanover. Ooh, and I, I do have defences for a second there. I thought I didn't, but there's definitely... Yeah, there. I was looking at the corners and thinking, uh-oh. Ooh, a bit artillery heavy. But I think we can manage it. Let's fight. And it does draw in... Um, it does draw in a secondary Prussian stack, which is always good. So, I mean, at this point, for me, it's more... I'm sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Hmm, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, for me, it's more about doing Prussian casualties than necessarily losing my armies. Because right now, I'm, I'm at the very cusp of what my economy can afford. So, no holes in the walls as of yet. So their deployment zone is over here and over here. So let's, let's put a light infantry unit. Ooh. Okay. Oh yes, I forgot because I've dug in. I can do things like this. Which are very handy to do. But I want to put my line infantry in the thick of it. Because my fusiliers, while they're good at shooting, they're not so good at fighting. So I probably want to do something like this. Have my fusiliers over the centre to fire. Because they generally don't charge up the walls like this. Um, and then have line infantry ready to... Oh, actually, there's only, only one unit of fusiliers, actually. It's getting way ahead of myself. But let's keep deploying... Things like this to stop their cavalry as it comes in. So you're you're deployed, you're deployed, you're deployed. Foot guards. These are engineers, aren't they? So I probably want them back for now. So I can deploy um, so I can deploy them to a, a particular particularly dangerous spot. Let's keep my cavalry back for now. You're deployed. Yes, you're deployed. You're deployed. You're deployed. 
So in terms of actual infantry, I might... I could, no, I don't know. I was about to say I might be running low, but I don't think I will be. Because ultimately they only attack from a certain number of directions anyway. So let's set my... So my howitzer's back. And then let's get my... Oh. Okay, so these might actually go here instead. Alright, hold on, I'm going to have to move these out for now. I think we might position them more like this. All firing quick line. Keep my artillery parked for now. My cavalry and my general in a similar frame of mind, which, which frustratingly does make it a very juicy target for quick line shot. But we've got to do what we've got to do. Okie dokie. Fight. So what I want to do is pull, pull the light infantry off of here out and instead replace it with my light infantry, including my fusiliers. Yeah, quick climb coming in. So they haven't deployed over on the right very much, so that gives me a bit of flexibility there. Probably want to deploy, f deploy an artillery unit there. God, they can deploy stakes as well. So can we fuse Liz? I remember this. There you go, my quick climb shots are off. So we destroyed a unit of cavalry off the bat. Beautiful. So deploy stakes. Deploy stakes. So you've got a lovely defensive position, which will absolutely be able to mow down cavalry. So let's deploy. Turn fire will off. Let's probably deploy a foot artillery here. Oh, wow. Pull them back. Probably the same with these guys. They even deployed outside. You can garrison the armory now. Yeah, that is the beauty of quicklime. So you need to watch out as well. Trouble is, they're all going to the right. my cavalry out and maybe suicide into them because they've got rubbish cavalry so let's bring my guys out of the walls okay no so these guys are okay good I thought they would be bugged Actually, not super bugged. Alright, so they're being hit too. So let's pull back. Let's 
So they got any, are they going are they aiming for a breach anyway, or do they just not have the artillery for it? So now can they play stakes without freaking out? Yeah, they're far enough away now they want to threaten their artillery. They've got light cavalry, regiment of horse, hussars, gendarmerie, so it'd be tough. Whoa, no you don't. Close that door. How do you like it, eh? It's not so nice. Hmm. Good. Close the gate. Yeah, so I've got to be prepared for my cavalry to effectively have to fight all of their cavalry. Um, but I think that's probably a worthwhile trade. And where's my light unit? You hit that unit of flight court. There we go, and they've started to get in position, so. Let's move you here. Move in. So gendarmerie and regiment of horse are currently defending. My guys are tired, theirs are active. One of the units is winded. So their assaulting forces are now substantially weaker. Chopping to bits. Then charge on. Or go head off that unit of hussars. No, nope, they've wheeled right, so go off the general's bodyguard. There you go, and I'm just drawing in all of their cavalry. It will be interesting to see if my cavalry survive. I have faith, because their cavalry is light. And mine is heavy. So in the actual melee itself, my guys should be able to stand up to it a lot more. See if I can make some of the make the units rout out of the combat. Mine's oh my guys are wavering. To be fair, they are being charged from multiple directions and all that sort of stuff. My cavalry is armoured and yours is not, so we should be chopping you down. Might triple speed it because right now. There you go. General has been targeted and successfully annihilated. Ah, there goes the cavalry. Fair enough. 
Just make sure they flee. Both the generals have been killed. There you go, they successfully made it off the map. See, they're not actually equipping the defences like they should. So they've got more cavalry coming in. Okay, here comes their uh, reinforcements. Here they are. Nice them to deploy a max range, so that means in theory they shouldn't be firing quick line, they'll be firing round shot. Or they'll be they're firing round shot short as well. Perfect. Switch the sheet to round shot just so they can start sniping at the uh, regiments of horse. Because right now they're a bit stuck. The artillery breeze deployed out of useful range. There's no way for them to get in. Unless we make it, effectively. Unless we give them a way in. Which is doable. Let's take this 12 pounder foot. No, that one's already. That one's already been a bit knackered from how it's a shooting. So let's do this. Let's bring you over. So if we deploy them carefully, no, nope, it's probably not going to work. Not by any measure. So I'm probably going to want to put fusiliers in here. Engineers, foot guards there. Or maybe something like this, actually, to maximise firepower and a bit of resilience. Is do this and this. deploy these guys on this wall. If I accept I'm going to deliberately lose a section of the wall. Turn off that. Let's do that. And they should. If I can make a breach then I can entice all of their cavalry and their infantry fragments into the breach. And then destroy them with musket fire. As is tradition. So you, know, you see what happens. They're right now, if I don't do it, they're all going to cluster at this edge of the map. And look, they're going to advance it like stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Whereas if I. Okay, let's make. You target that fry court just because. Just because just when they start pecking at the corners of your units like that. Good. Go away. So they're going to drop round shot onto the breach as well. Although when the breach is made, they're going to start firing. Ah, oh, there you go. It has been made. There. There you go. Look at this guy, he's away in, eh? And who are you shooting at? God, you silly buggers. Off you go. They might provide the, an enticing enough target for them to try and charge. And to be honest, let's make this unit also fire a round shot. 
at the incoming troops. As futile as it may be. Trouble is, they might not want to attack because they don't because they know they can't win. Um, I don't know. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to chop the recording here, and if nothing else happens, then that'll be the end of it. If something does happen, they do actually... Ooh. Well, if they start to move in and actually want to do something interesting, then I'll bring you guys back. Righty, guys. See you in a sec. Righty, guys, and we're back. And the only thing that did happen is that, you might notice, this building that was standing up is now no longer. Um, when some troops ran in, I think I must have used one of my light infantry guys to place a bomb by accident because there was a massive flash of orange here and this just got destroyed instantly when these guys were firing you know, arcs outside. My foot artillery is firing straight down the line into the breach, so I don't know why. So that unit of 48 guys that got quick lined up here is no more. <laughs> um, yeah, just need, to, just need to do a bit on that. The Prussians didn't actually move in. They were just more than happy to stay out at a distance, do a bit of plinking with the howitzers that were firing short, and the upshot is we still have a reasonable number of troops left, and we pushed a enemy stack back. You know, it's just a fragment. Ooh, now they're trying. They've pretty much got exclusively cavalry. Yes, let's do it. There's already a breach for you, guys. It's lovely. So we're just going to breach, deploy lots of stakes, or we'll deploy a row of stakes, a row of spikes, a row of stakes, a row of spikes, and just do that. Don't bother deploying my cannons because there'll be so there'll be so many of them will be dead that there won't be a point. Pressing the walls. Actually, firstly, let's take everyone out. We still do have eight cuirassiers. There you go. So, I can do this. I can have you <coughs> deploy a stake. Do you want to put both my. I'll put all my light infantry and my fusiliers down here because they can. Well, you can. Oh, you can. Ah! So let's deploy a mine with my foot guards. Then I'll run them back somewhere. Then these guys will deploy. Uh, where is it? Where's my. Oh, I don't have any fusiliers in this list at all. I was misspeaking. Well, then, just as a bit of a hedge, let's take this. Oh, I did. They weren't completely destroyed, only the battle map. We managed to dig some of the survivors out. Cool. Let's do this. Then, let's deploy some of my troops on the walls, as usual, because some of them may still try to attack the walls and go around and things like that, and I'm probably just going to do this. And then I've pretty much just deploy... Well, no, I might deploy one battery. No, I can get away with two batteries. Put them inside barricades. Like that. Firewall off. Deploy a unit inside. Deploy a unit like that. Deploy a unit like that. Well, you're j actually, so what I want to what I'll probably do instead is do that. And then that. Then probably that's going to be about it. So I'm going to deploy a unit of heavy howitzers here. Firing quick lime, then a unit of heavy a unit of light howitzers here, also firing quick lime. And these remainders are some artillery and my general, so there we go. Put my foot guards here just to stop them from running around. Yeah, they do have some artillery, but 
Well, do I put round shot on? Yeah, I'll put round shot on. Have them engage. Play stakes, play stakes. There we go. Let's get you up on the wall. Get you just out of the way because I can see them coming. Intri intrigued if they are gonna. How's my artillery going? So I've destroyed some of their horse teams, I've knocked out some of their troops. So we must have put aim far. You know what, I might just move them off this section of the wall, because they're blowing holes in it. Let's put my knackered infantry inside the armoury. There you go, I'm engaging them with... with the shot. Maybe it's split my fire up into one unit fire onto them, one unit fire onto them. God, the marines are coming in, the cavalry are going in. They're going to detonate the charge, which is now, hopefully, smartly deployed. Oh, my grenade guards could have deployed stakes too. The more they the more they decide to waste their time around outside the breach. Okay, we've got a second breach. Yeah, that section of the wall is down. Let's get a 12 pounder. Oh, I missed the bomb. God, that was asking for a juicy quick climb. So if I do that, anyone that can, is there anyone that can immediately fire? Sadly not. See, so never these things have bombs in front of them, it seems, then. Because that's a lot of dead Prussians. Then a coffer quick climb. Lots of misses. Go back to round shot. Keep hitting the horse guard artillery. Because they're sending in more cavalry. They're sending in a unit of marines to assault. So they'll probably be joined by my foot guards. Oh god, you can hear all the horses. Just look at that. Throwing their swords ahead of them. And they're all joining a ghost army. Oh, look at that. Keep coming. There's more where they came from. God, let's look at that. So many horses have died in that. Just from having those set up there. Okay, so... Can't get in, but I want to. I want to deploy my foot guards. Okay, let's focus on the how their foot artillery.
There you go. Get in there, grenadiers. Or guard engineers. Engineers, sorry. With your axes. What we've seen in just one fight inside there is enough to just grind it to a halt. So I've got cavalry if I need to deploy them. These dragoons. Oh yeah, there's they're dragoonless horses, and there are the goons themselves. Regiment of dragoons. Dragones. Well, what's tempting to do, just because it would ease the the lagginess, is if I just abandon the building. I could stop my grenadiers from getting in. Let my infantry slog it out. If they survive, brilliant. If they do not, then that is up to them. 76 v 105. Oh no, my infantry's joining too. Well, I forgot, I did order them to. Yeah, lots of them are dying as they flee. Um, but that's an acceptable trade, I think, because if they... well... Engage the command HQ. As many of you as possible. Get the hell out! Get out of there! The whole thing's gonna blow! Oh, they're routing anyway. Take them down! So, the, so they think they've... Ah, oh, nuts! We missed the chance. Destroy the HQ. Ah, no, I forgot about this. There we go. <laughs> Thought it was going to be bamboozled, that'll have a win. Shrapnel shot, get them firing, firing at will. Then they're all going to peck shots off at the marines as they fall back. Experienced marines, as they should be. There's only 25 of them now. It's just the foot artillery routed. Actually, no, make you fire quick climb and engage things like these foot guard marines. Simple little bit of quick climb. Shouldn't take many, many volleys. Fire! Let's block, let's block. And there's a hidden unit behind them. <laughs> the Swiss Mountain Yeekers. <laughs> Didn't even know they were there. Still hang the horse artillery. Just out of range to hit the grand hit the grenadiers. But yeah, if we can knock out those howitzers, then I'll just bring a little force out to go and meet them myself. Oh, I thought I was about to say they got one gun and one gun into what they got one gun into action. Nope. They're routing. Can I hit them with quick line? Nope. Round shot only. So these marines should be getting a bit poorly. Who's that routing? Is that? Oh, that's the horse. Oh, the artillery's come back. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, wow. So let's do... Take these guys out close range quickly with quick line. It's a quick win. Then... Scoot towards... Come wavering. That was one gun that fired. There should be plenty more of you. But yeah, once you fire a few more volleys, that should hopefully be them routing. Good. Try aim at the Dragoons, the Horse Grenadier Guards. Lovely. They're just at the edge of the range, so if the round hits, it goes pah and creates like an oval shape. So they're still just within range. Shaken, you've been just been artillery from 90 down to 20. Good. Let's see if they can quick climb the Grenadier Guard. The, the, the um, General's Bodyguard, sorry. Could be just out of range. So for the little one, let's point the little one at... Oh, oh they can just peck at them. So they aim the light, the light one at the Dragoons. Yeah, I think the light one is just too far. But for the this one, they, they just can peck them. Routing and routing. Oh, end battle. Victory! To learn. This is what happens, Prussia. Oh, it's Whoa, it's a video playing on my phone. Stop it. Excellent. S stop playing. Yeah. So that's a victory for us. 110 lost for the Russians. 272 lost for us. That's gone exceptionally well. Enemy sail approaching! Oh, and the Prussians are sallying out under here against the army of Peter Payne. We're looking at the timer, I think we've reached the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.